Good morning, and a beautiful morning it is. Uh, <clears throat> the the walk the walk did not work on that other uh, candlelight stove, tea candle stove, and I got to thinking that since I built that tea candle stove around the pot that I originally used in it, I'm just going to leave that alone. Uh, that works good. You know, I've proved that it works good enough to uh, boil and cook stew on. So I'm just going to leave it alone. And what I'm going to do is make another one uh, designed around that skillet. And uh, I've got this marked out. It's uh, 14 and a half by 14 and a half. And uh, I forget what the... This was yesterday. Last night I did this. Oh, okay. Uh, what was it? Nine and three quarters. This hole. Nine and three quarters. Because I don't want that thing to fit all the way down. I want it to hit right about midway here. <clears throat> but before I get to working on this, I want to show you another little experiment I'm doing. Walk this way. This, <clears throat> this is a piece of pipe that my friend Calvin from Monroe gave me. Uh, on their survivalistblog.net, he's known as Hobbit of the Shire. Well, anyway, uh, I got a piece of uh, expanded metal there. I got that pan with two cups of water in it. And I put about ten. Hold on. I put about 10 charcoal briquettes in there. Uh, I'm going to light it and let them get going real good. And then I'm going to put the expanded metal across the top and set the pot on it and uh, see if we can get water to boil. That'd be a good thing to know, too. I'm just really experimenting with different ways <clears throat> of getting water to boil. Because if you can boil water... You can do anything you can if it's hot enough to boil water you can do pretty much anything with this whatever it is that boils water so let me uh get this lit and uh, uh let me burn it a little while so it'll catch up and then uh, we'll be back all right it is 8 30 exactly uh, i'm gonna go in there and start working on that uh, tea candle stove and uh I'll show you my progress and we'll keep an eye on this Gonna get a hell yeah? All right, it's been 30 minutes, 31 actually, and uh, it it's not even acting like it's gonna boil. But I got nothing to lose by leaving it there. So we'll keep an eye on it. 30 minutes and uh, that's centered. Let me center that. Yeah, we'll be back. Another half hour. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. That's good to know. So now I gotta figure out how, this is upside down. I gotta figure out how high to make these outer walls. So uh, I'll lay that on there. And when I drill these holes, I'm going to go oh, about halfway in there. So, uh, how far do I want the flames to be away? Is that another quarter inch? I'm thinking 
you know what? I'm going to go with three and a half and uh, put the base together and then set this on it and then have a look and uh, get a better idea how far the, the flames will be from the bottom of that. Uh, I might go to three and a quarter. You know what? I'm just going to go with three and a quarter because I even have a suspicion that three inches might be better, but uh, we'll see. No, no, no. Screw it. I'm going with three and a half. I can always cut it. You can't add. See, I found that out. You can't add wood, but you can cut more off. Okay, I have got all this cut out. Uh, it's all going to be mitered. It's all going to be purdy. Uh, got that cut out. What I'm going to do is square this up, glue it, nail it, uh, put that on, glue it and nail it. This, this actually gets mounted up here. And then I'm going to drill these holes out for where the candles go and make me a handle that'll you know be just like the other handle when this is all done and put together what i'm going to do is uh take my jigsaw and cut a slot out you know kind of decorative I'll, I'll arch it and make it look nice but uh anyway let me get this put together we're getting there keep in mind that i am not a master carpenter uh, I'm not even a good carpenter, but uh, I have the magic thing that makes uh, bad carpenters look good. <laughs> it's a wood putty and sandpaper. <laughs> it's not that bad. I'll get this uh, corners nice and sanded, and if it's that ugly, I'll put some wood putty in there, and and uh, it'll look all right. It's not going to fly. I'm no engineer. And like my friend John says, I'm just a dude with a few tools. All right, I'm going to let that dry. Oh, probably a couple hours. Got a nice breeze blowing through here. It's about 75. I figure a couple hours this will be, uh, you know, I've tacked it. It's tacked all the way around. So uh, I figure a couple hours I'll be able to sand on this. I do believe this is going to be the right height but uh we'll see and if it's not i i'll tell you what i'm thinking of doing is drilling all the way through this and then adding uh about some quarter inch on the bottom of this that'll raise it up some so instead of lowering this i'm going to raise this see how i think about things after coffee and uh change my mind <laughs> But uh, I'm happy with it so far. A couple hours, we'll, uh, we'll uh, come out here and take the clamps off and work on it some more. See you then. Okay, I got the little candle holder made. And I've got them tabs off the, the three tabs there. They're so this will slide in and stop at just the right spot. Now on the side, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna scallop it. I'll draw it rough. Idea. And 
and that way the tab will hit here and I'll still have some air holes so uh, that's the idea we're getting there uh, about another hour or so this should be dry enough for me to mess with sorry my hands are shaking it's just one of them days hucky ducky there's my little scallops that I cut Let's see, I think it's too late to crank this up. I think I'll crank this up in the morning and uh, we'll cook some Spam. And then if it works, if this works, I'm gonna stain it and clear coat it. If it doesn't work, what I'm gonna do is uh, put probably just some uh, standoffs down here and raise it up another half inch, three quarters of an inch. As a matter of fact, this stuff that I use to make the handle, I can stick about four of them down there and, and raise it up closer to the bottom of the pan. We'll see. We'll see. All right, see you tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna cook some Spam. Uh, that is the next video though. I just wanted to, uh, the building video, I wanted to keep that as one, and then the cooking video, I want that to be another video, so, because I'm going to word them differently, you know, cooking on candles or building a candle stove. So anyway, this is what it looks like. And uh, I'm going to start with five candles and see if I can get the pan hot enough to fry Spam. Are you okay with spam? So anyway, thanks for watching this video. And uh, here in a minute, I'm going to crank it up and see if I can cook some spam. But let me tell you what I did. I was at a church rummage sale. Uh, I had a phone call and it stopped the video, so I think I was telling you about these. I picked them up at a rummage sale for 20 bucks, and I got a guy coming over now to buy them all for 130 These are Bilstein shocks, brand new, coils, brand new, uh, and they fit a 63 to 82 Corvette, and he has a 71. So, uh... Just uh, showing you one way you can make a few extra bucks if you keep your eye out for stuff, for little bargains. Yeah, bought them for 20, put them on Craigslist yesterday, and he's on his way over now. So, anyway, on with the next video. Thanks for watching. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. She's such a good girl. She is. She's a good girl. <laughs> what a happy little dog. And Breezy's saying, get your stinky feet out of my face.